First up at the UFC 305 fight card, we have Stuart Nickel taking on Jesus Aguilar. I'm ditching that voice. Stuart Nickel undefeated making his UFC debut. He's being touted as like the best prospect in that region that hasn't been to the UFC. He's taking on Jesus Aguilar. Jesus Aguilar has been in the UFC for a little bit. 10 and 2 in his career. 4 and 1 in his last five. He's coming off a close decision win. Dude, the first thing I see is Jordan Luce puts in types, like types. You know, you can type like parentheses to make it look like bo boobs. He just says, what do you think of these, Jacob? Instantly, uh, already. That's the stuff yeah. we don't need. Yeah, we yeah, you, we can't. Not in the middle of the break. Yet. We can't. Stuart Nickel. As I mentioned, making his UFC debut. He's a grappler, decent wrestler, slick grappling, though. When he takes you down, he's got solid control. He's always staying busy. He's a strong guy. He used that strength well. His striking is a bit stiff, but he's got nice leg kicks. He's not afraid to exchange. He's not a coward on the feet. You are going to see his record. He's got some finishes there. Those are mostly ground and pound. He's not knocking anybody's head off standing. He's taking on Jesus Aguilar. Solid grappler. He's got a knack for finding guillotines. He'll actually even set them up. The guy has 10 wins in his career. Seven of those 10 are stoppages. Four of those seven are guillotines. And it's not like a Julian Erosa guillotine. He's literally like looking for it, finding it, and getting it done. He is a bit wild. He is very active, though. He'll throw strikes in combinations, a little bit of power in there. He's coming off that insanely low volume win, though, over Mataus Mendonca, where he was taken down four times and landed 19 strikes. Stuart Nickel, big boy favorite. More than a two-to-one favorite at this point. He's a UFC debut. You can see that line movement, though. He opened as a dog. He opened as a plus-135 underdog. If I were to want a page for line movement, is there a place I could go? Actually, it's crazy you bring that up. If you go to wewantpicks.com and then click on tools, under there we have what's called a line movement tracker. It'll show you the opening odds, the I'm current odds. I'm already bored. The win probability and the line movement. Anyway, dude opened as a dog. He's now a big favorite. And and I kind of understand how he could be close to a favorite or even money. I think he wins literally only because I think he gets the takedowns and Jesus can struggle with defending takedowns. That is the only reason I'm picking Stuart Nickel to win. I don't see all the insane hype. Maybe he's that good. He's 8-0. 8-0 could be 50-0 in a couple of years, or it could be 8-1 come Saturday night. I think Stuart Nickel has some potential. I think Jesus Aguilar is very good. I think he's getting looked past here. I think he deserves a little more credit. I was going to do the plus 3.5 bet on him, and the bookies are on to it too because those odds were gone. It was minus 180. So I'm not doing that bet on Jesus, but I do think Stuart wins literally only because I think he gets a couple of takedowns and that should matter here. What do you think? Jakey boy. Uh, yeah, I think Stewart, honestly, when I watch the film on him, when I'm watching tape on him, which I do week in, week out for every single fight, I'm dedicated to this game, dedicated to his craft. And that's why I've been having so much success. Mm. It's just absolutely crazy, the success I've been having. Um, Stewart seems like the real deal to me. And, and I know the guys he's, he's fighting aren't, you know, probably the top level guys, and they probably aren't going to be on the level of, of Jesus, but he is manhandling those people. What I like the most is when he has people up against the cage, he is, he takes his fucking time and he controls every position. Everywhere the fight goes is where he wants it to go. I mean, the wrist control, the way he's trapping legs, the, you can see his weight when he's in there to keep people on the ground. It, all the, he does all the little things in those positions. And I think that's the type of guy that really controls Jesus because Jesus showed against Mendoza that even if he does get taken down, he's controlled. He still has those abilities to sweep and end up in an advantageous position against Stewart. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. I think he's going to be stuck on his back and eventually uh, Stewart could find the submission or the TKO because he does a great job also of punching to set up the submissions as well. And sometimes you can just keep keep on punching. I mean, Jesus to me is just not dangerous on the feet. I mean, he, he found that his first knockout against uh, what's his name, um, but he's really not dangerous on the feet. He, he's shown that he can get taken down. And apart from that Hail Mary guillotine, which I think Stewart should be pretty aware of, uh, I, I think that Stewart should kind of dominate here. I do worry a little bit that if it does extend, that Stewart out of fatigue, UFC debut, that's when that guillotine really becomes more live because Jesus is a guy that's going to be live for first, second, and third round. So um, as the fight goes on, I'm be worried a little bit more about that guillotine, but I think Stewart has the ability to finish the first round. He's a fucking animal, and he... Uh, pretty good yeah i mean 
I picked him to win as well. I don't believe in these odds. Do you think these odds are fair? They just seem so wide. The guy's untested. Well, I mean, the way he's winning fights and you see how Jesus can lose fights, I think people are putting two and two together. I played him at, at these odds. I, I like these odds. Um, and I just think he's a... Uh... And he's been to a he he's been to a five round he's won a five round decision before so I mean he's been there done that if he needs to I think that was his only decision correct yeah, but he sure. um yeah I mean listen I, I, we both picked him to win so no argument here I do like the Jesus Aguilar plus three and a half but I just checked it was minus one eighty earlier today it's minus one fifty right now which I might I might end up pulling the trigger I think he could win a round I think he could absolutely win a round he's the more seasoned guy. Smoked. You don't I mean, think he, he, got you think he gets by, finished? Um, Tyra, I think Stewart's pretty good. He's pretty good. Yeah, well, didn't Jesus fight Tyra on short notice though? But he did get smoked by Tyra. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. That's what's tricky about these undefeated yet untested guys. You really just don't know what's going to happen in some of these fights. But he is nine thousand. Full, full transparency. Okay. I have. Uh, a five hundred dollar parlay I put on Nicole and uh, the next fight. Find out who the next fighter is. Stay tuned. Like the stream if you want to find out. <laughs> but just on my personal whatever, not for premium whatever. But I I I like Stewart. Yeah. All right. Well, Jakey Boy's very high on Stewart Nickel, which oh, means that oh. nine thousand dollars is pretty appealing to you in DraftKings fantasy. Yeah, because even if he uh, doesn't get a finish, I think he's going to score well, take down some control, and I mean even yeah. I was going to say submission attempts, but they don't score those. So. Yeah, I agree. I think if you – DraftKings Fantasy doesn't score submission attempts, but Prize Picks does, and so does uh, um, FanDuel. But if you do think Stuart Nickel wins, and he's got to be in your DraftKings Fantasy lineup because, to Jacob's point, he will win with grappling. He'll take downs, control, all of that, which scores really, really well. If you do want to check out all the picks, the bets, the round line leans, the tools, and more, you get one month's – Worth of access for only $10. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. And if you look at a calendar for Saturdays, gets you not only UFC 305, but all the way out to UFC 306. We do have a super chat. 499 from Jacob Schaefer. Haven't seen a thank you, Dan. We're not letting it die. You are right. Where are the thank you, Dan? I think people are just so caught off guard that we're live on a Monday instead of a Tuesday. Oh, yeah, it is. My, oh, my God. That's going to make my week go by so slow now. You're live streaming tomorrow. That'll pick it back up. The reason we're live Monday oh, is because... Oh, and I think Lock of the Week's going to drop tomorrow as well. The highlight film is done. Angelo has seen it. There we go. I think it's one of my favorite ones. Oh, you're supposed to say, yeah, it's good, guys. Fucking dickwad. Oh, I don't I don't want to spoil anything. That's fun. You, you, the highlight... Everything you do is great. Not oh, to, here we not go. To... Yeah, here we go with the... Uh, I just it's wish just not creative do. enough. Yeah, I just it's wish just... you... You know, it's great. You know, Anybody you can spend... splice together some audio clips. It's just, we want the skits. No, like anything you do is good. It's kind of annoying because he's really starting to feel himself lately with the bets hitting and the the live stream numbers Since are barf. fucking crazy. Says barf. $10 super chat from Jack Bella. Hey guys, my wife IG DM'd you guys to make a video for my birthday. I believe before y'all went to 303, today's the day you got a few more hours. Dude, you know what's so Funny about that. I remember she sent the message. Shut up. Let me finish. By the way, don't blame me because I don't get those messages. It's 100 percent me. No, no, 100 percent me. She sent the message and I said, no problem. When is it? What we'll take care of it? What's his name? Then I went back to try to find the message. I couldn't find it to save my life. There's another message I can't find. Somebody reached out. I did this whole rant. Are you no. just deleting messages from no. girls? No. Somebody, the problem is people email us, people DM on Instagram, people DM on Twitter. We get comments. Like, it's hard Not to we. keep up with all of it. So the um, somebody reached out. I went on this whole thing about how they count significant strikes, how it's just a guy with a clicker. And somebody reached out saying, I know how that works. I'm in that space. I literally know the guy with the clicker. Let me know if you want more information. I don't really, you know, I want to be anonymous, but I'll give you some information. What does this have to do with this guy's birthday? I can't find that person's freaking message either. So if you're that person and you're listening, reach Can you back just out. Can you sing happy birthday message. real quick? This is for Jack. Happy birthday to you. you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Let's try to harmonize here. Happy birthday, dear Jack. 
dear. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Hit it. You. you. To Jack. All right. Live viewer count plummeted. <laughs>